What up YouTube, it's your boy Ace, I'm uh, doing some uh, live commentary, um, no, nope, refresh that shit, this is not live commentary because the live commentary that I was doing on this video kind of fucked up because I was doing it on my phone and um, I kind of deleted that shit, so I'm going through this all over again and experiencing this new shit, which is uh, the game that you're about to see now is uh, Dead Rising 3. Uh, it's uh, one of the launch titles out on the uh, Xbox One, the Xbox Uno. I uh, got it quite recently. i um, been playing this game a bit. haven't had that much time to go through the game, so I only played the first level of it. And I'm um, going to be doing some more gameplay and some more commentary on the, you know, more levels as the levels progress, as the game progresses. Um, so the game's just uh, installed. takes quite a bit of time to actually install the game uh, from the disc. Um, it's basically like having the same sort of PS3 thing all over again and boink got an achievement right there so it just gets underway uh, setting up the brightness now see so, yeah, I'm not going to set it to a low brightness I'm going to set it pretty high because the last thing I want is to be stuck in a room and it's just pitch black and you have no way to go so flick through the settings now make sure everything's optimized stick on the subtitles because just in case I've got uh, something else going on I can actually read and screen what the fuck's going on and keep up with the story because um, you know, a lot of it is it's story based anyway so I want to just check out all the controls as well. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually uh, playing on the Xbox uh, in, like a campaign uh, this is since Gears of War um, like it's not even Gears of War 3 because I haven't even done that campaign yet you know what literally this might even be the first time I actually complete a campaign on 360 <laughs> I just hope I can do it. Um, so I've got the controls. I'm gonna stick to the default layout so I can get uh, the full sense of the game. I have no idea what the fuck to do here on the connect settings. Uh, looks like cluster focus stuff. So I'll just leave that shit alone before I fuck anything up. I had a, I had a weird instance where I thought I actually screwed up the Xbox One completely because for some reason um, I couldn't. Uh, I forgot what my uh, login thing was of my Xbox Live and. Uh, I let my Xbox, uh, put my Xbox aside and wait for the uh, reset password thing and uh, yeah um, I had no idea what to do uh, and uh, the, the Xbox turned off when I hit, went to press the on button it would not respond whatsoever and I was like trying to, I was yelling and saying Xbox please turn on for the love of god please fucking turn on no no I thought, I thought it died but luckily uh, I managed to spark it back into life left it for about an hour or so and hit that power brick on uh, playing this game in um, just normal single player uh, completion because um, I'm uh, such a trophy and achievement whore yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to go through this thing as a completionist um, hopefully I can get all the little uh, you know the uh, the achievements the unlockables that I can whilst going through this and um, if I manage to uh, pick up some uh, achievements while we're doing this game uh, while doing the gameplay um, I'll probably put that gameplay aside and uh, I'll put, um, do a little separate little uh, video for that achievement so help you guys out there just in case you are stuck in achievement but that's just if I'm going for that achievement some might just be out of luck, but anyway, we'll start the story off, uh, get a read of what's going on basically. Um, the last time you actually played uh, Dead Rising, you actually played as Chuck, the uh, the uh, motorcycle guy, and trying to save his daughter, uh, going through his daughter in uh, the uh, Las Vegas strip thing going on. Plaza, now you're in the city, so you know, battle through the zombies. Um, like 28 days later, some shit going on here, so you know, get to this fucking place, start this game off. Um, I actually found this game pretty enjoyable to begin with. Uh, graphically, it's improved quite a bit. Uh, Dead Rising wasn't the best uh, graphically. I could say the best graphically. Uh, it's difficult to find. <laughs> kind of stumbling here in this damn damn commentary. But yeah, graphic-wise, uh, it wasn't the best game out there. Uh, it's mainly the gameplay that actually was key for this game. Um, you know um, how you can actually uh, interact with your weapons. How you can. Uh, Build up your own custom guns and uh, your uh, weapons, battling through the hordes of zombies. So um, that was um, that was the main key selling point of the game, where you can actually just kill loads of zombies in loads of different ways, and uh, it's quite unique. But um, graphically, it's not the best game out there, uh, but it's a lot better than number two, and they've stepped up it a lot. Um, kind of gay uh, with the Xbox here because I think this is 720p, not full 1080p. Um, you know. Pardon, uh, pardon me if I'm, you know, if I stand corrected there or something. Uh, but yeah, um, so far, beginning of a game right here. And, you know, you see uh, this guy. His name's Nick. You've actually see this little tag uh, on his shirt a bit. So 
Anyway, he's uh, stumbled into the city and uh, shit, shit's going down see. here, man. And then to find out what's going on. But um, yeah. Um, okay, start the game. And uh, yeah, this is his name tag Nick. Um, and uh, you can see a little tattoo on his thing, and I have no idea what that is anyway. But I will be playing through the story, finding out um, yeah, new stuff that's going on, um, gameplay wise. Um, you know, what actually progresses, what happens in the story, and um, how this guy wound up in this scenario or whatever. Uh, I haven't watched that many trailers of the game, I just, I just knew it was one of the launch games that I wanted. So, um, this and Rise, Summon, Son of Rome, and Killer Instinct. Um, I have to admit, yeah, Xbox have outdone themselves by giving away Killer Instinct. I mean, it's like one of the best free games you can get for uh, for a free game like that. It's pretty sick. But anyway, um, I'm back as Nick here on Dead Rising, uh, trying to find some health here. So, yeah, pick up some snack, eat those fucking Doritos. Uh, I was <laughs> pressing A to pick it up, but yeah, yeah, press the interact button. And uh, press the. I need more than that. Uh, bit tired here, uh, but yeah, press the melee attack. I'm doing this commentary um, on the Sunday. Just got back from a long day's work of work, um, and it's pretty late now. Um, I'm off to try to open. Uh, let's have a look around here. Uh, pick up this wrench. Um, I have to bust through this gate. It looks like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, bust through the gate. Mm, nope. Press the yeah, press the jump button again when it's going to interact with yet yeah, bust this gate and uh I was hoping um for like the next gen game the game uh, the gate would react differently. Uh I don't know what happened there. I think there's some sort of problem with the uh when I'm actually uh playing the game or something. Maybe the might be the controller batteries might be dying out or something, but I don't know. It, it, but you see a lot of times the game will just pause and there's a little tutorial thing. What's a proper tutorial? I'm a man, we don't read instructions. So um there you go, uh, found some other stuff here. I'm probably going to pick up, the, yeah I did pick up the shovel. Because um, I thought that, you know, if you've got longer range and even better. So just look around here, see if you can find some more objects. There's a lot of stuff you can interact with. Uh, not as much as I thought. Uh, thought you could probably pick up one of those uh, round circly things. Anyway, I uh, found some, I'm going to go back here because I thought, oh, what's that I found inside there? So I jump upside the truck pick up some stuff here so you've got some uh, I don't know what the fuck that is but anyway drink all this shit anyway drink it all I was a bit cautious here because I was like oh shit shit's gonna happen here this this bitch is gonna like attack me right now you know yeah, I was ready right there I was like wrench do your bidding do my bidding man but anyway uh, go through go through go through a little exploring here I thought that something's gonna go around the corner there way too on edge but then boom got my fire axe Man's gonna be like axing shit up now. So, I've got my axe now. Ready, prone, ready for attack. But, yeah, a bit more exploring, but why this may seem like pretty boring gameplay, but you know what? Really don't Where, when it comes to me playing a game, a lot of times I'm just trying to explore. Um, just not going through my mind where I'm going through a speed run. Or I'm getting to the next objective. Uh, I, <laughs> I had no idea what the hell I was like, why is this gate breaking? Why is this gate breaking? But you know, it's like read instructions. Ah, uh, okay. Power attack. Dumbass, do a power attack. Stupid ass, go back. Go fucking back, that's it. Right, power attack this shit. Hit it again. Yeah, but when I've seen gaming, the, the way that that gate just explodes, it's a bit of, you know, OTT. I would have, you know, I would have sort of recommended that, you know, if they were going to do some sort of game where you break through a gate or something they would uh you soon so that we can actually use the weapon to like like push the gate open or something so if that was me and this was like the um, I was straight into that gate and I had a fire axe on me I should have just wenched it into where the hinges are on the gate uh gone into it and sort of like try to pry it open uh maybe has some sort of thing where you tap the button pretty quickly and uh, it can basically um you know the faster you tap it the more sort of tensions being put on the gate and that gate will just slam open or something but yeah I mean that works too as well um, I got some more stuff around here as well and you're about to <sighs> excuse me again uh, you're about to see um, another sort of cutscene that comes up here now so Nick's like what the fuck yep what the fuck Nick We've got loads of shit going on now uh, some beds no, no time for napping. Better get through this thing. Pick up that torch, shine it around, and boom, you see death. <laughs> right, just 
looking around still, looking around still. Um, yep, infected, and you see a horde of fucking zombies. What you gonna do, brother? What you gonna do when the zombies come for you? But yeah, I just saw. I was like, you know what? There you go. See, this is what I'm talking about. You know, random times. You know what? The gay thing is, I'm gonna stress out as well. At some point, these batteries are gonna, are gonna die, and I was like, I have to go back, recharge these batteries, and that's gay because come on, come on, so. No, no internal filter to charge your battery. I, I get you kind of like, you know, police the pockets of your customers, uh, your consumers, by uh, introducing this, like, 20 power freaking charge and play battery packs. Fucking motherfuckers, but this, this thing shoot me out. I was like, oh shit, it's on oh shit, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know if literally, you look at me, you fucking get you stuck into them. And then, I'm like, oh shit, you got to go out of it, and I fucking look there, and it's like, it looks like it's shaking, so I'm, I must shake the controller, so I was just, I just stood up there, I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna die, I should fucking get something. So then I see, um, some stuff on the floor here. So, um, grab this drill, I was like, fuck the drill, pick up this axe again. Go in the axe. There's stuff around here, so look, I'm just looking around now. Ooh, I see stuff there. I see a machete. This is this like machete kills motherfucker. I'm like, I'm Danny Trail. This thing, man. I literally was gonna drive Danny Trail. This it. I get my machete out. Next thing I know, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, machete in your back, motherfucker. Machete. Oh shit. So get grabbed there again. So like, get the shit me out. It's like, yeah, now I'm do. Like, kill this bitch. Kill, kill this bitch. And kill this bitch as well. And you know, at, that, at this point, I was like, oh shit, there's like loads of zombies, I'm gonna die at any point now, so I'm gonna just run. You know, run like a black man in a white neighborhood, just run. <laughs> just run. Um, so I jumped over these taxis, because you can't jump over so I jumped over another car, jump over here, and um, just run, just run, run, motherfucker, run, run. And then he just goes, ooh, I saw something there that interested me, so I killed these, kill these things, kill some things there. And it's my favourite food, it's fucking Chinese food. Eat that shit up, man. And then got my wrench again, hit this bitch with this wrench. Get my machete back. And yeah, sweet. I'm going for it now. I'm fucking, I'm, I've got some chicken chow mein on me, I've got some chop soy in me. And I'm fucking going blitz and um, saw little snacks, I'm like, a little afternoon snack, you know, eat those flipping, uh, eat those prawn crackers and uh, get the fuck out of here, man. Boom, cutscene time now. So, um, you know, on, on second thoughts, I should have just stayed there, should have like, killed the shit out of the zombies because there is a fucking achievement behind it, you know, I think it's like day one or something, no, kill like not. how many hundreds of thousands of zombies or something, but could not be fucking asked. Now, speaking of zombies, I can't wait for the, um, the new Walking Dead, um, Governor's back and all that, so it's gonna be epic, epic, epic. Um, but anyway, get back to the game now. Uh, and he's like, What the fuck do I do now? I don't know, bitch. Nick, use your fucking brain. But anyway, he's back in this uh, corridor thing again, and um, you know, this is gonna happen. I was like, This stupid bitch, why is he there? Why is he there? You know, it's like you're baiting these zombies, and obviously, you know, it's, it's like, it's like. You know, just, you're just screaming at the, the screen, going, You dumb motherfucker, you dumb shit, why the hell you bait these zombies? You know what's gonna happen, all these zombies gonna come up here, and now you just like open that opening, you know, you open that gap, you know, you know, you, they're just gonna swarm now. Why the hell you let them open, you know? But anyway, now you've got loads of other zombies. Oh, yeah. You know, if that was me, I'll be like, Fuck this, run the other way. And now you are zombies coming behind you as well, so you're fucked basically, so you better run. Run, run, and look, dumb bitch, dumb bitch, just like, I'm not sure, how, how is he not dead? How is he not dead? He like, smacked his abdomen, um, abdomen? Ad, <laughs> I can't even pronounce that now, <laughs> my tongue's all twisted up. <laughs> abdomen, um, on that, um, fuck it, what am I saying abs for? Just fucking so, crushed his stomach, man. Come on, how is he still up? That's just like stupid. Just a like, lingering effect where he's like, his, his, his abs has just been crushed. So, yeah. Uh, this uh, plane out of nowhere, and uh, just comes out of nowhere. And like, why is there even a plane? What the fuck is this? It's just like, Brad Pitt's gonna come out of there or something. But anyway, that's the um, that's the intro uh, prologue, I would say. Is that the prologue? Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, prologue for the um, Dead Rising 3. But who the fuck did that plane for? You know what? I'm just expecting at any point now, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna come back to this game, I'm gonna be like, seeing, like, you know. Brad Pitt walk out of there going, I'm looking for the cure. I mean, like, fuck you, dude. 
<laughs> fuck you, this QA this, go back to your own place, man, go back to your own fucking, like, t like film and shit, so anyway, um, you get to see all the people that will be starving this thing, so, I was also hoping that the game would be in 3D, but, I'm not sure if it is, I might actually activate the 3D features, interesting, um, but yeah, uh, that's been, uh, Dead Rising 3, um, to sum it up, um, it looks pretty fun, um, what I'm going to try and do as well, I'm going to invite some peeps to do call for me, I barely play on Xbox, so the only people that I have friends on are the people on my Facebook group, uh, some of my Facebook friends, and um, my some of my Twitter guys as well, on my uh, Xbox side, but yeah, sure guys, um, you know, I'm new to the scene, you can say I'm sort of an Xbox version, so if you guys want to add me, um, I'll be more than willing to add anyone, and uh, you can just add me, my gamer tag is actually uh, version 1v1, that's version 1, um, the letter B and the number 1, uh, if you don't know you can just see in the info section there, but yeah, um, Dead Rising 3 guys, uh, show me you know, show me your gameplay, so you just tell me what you think, and uh, yeah, I'll be uh, coming back to this game pretty shortly, but anyway, check out the uh, next part of this video, uh, which I'm going to be doing soon, and uh, I'll be uh, jumping off from this now, and uh, I think that's about it for today, you know, um, like, subscribe, um, peace out.